Good morning. Welcome back um, to this channel. Um, I thought I'd give you a little update on this RC coaching thing that I'm working on, right? Only started about four weeks ago, but I'm having a lot of fun. I'm getting really cool reactions, really cool questions, and really interesting questions, actually. Um, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, what the best way is to pass on information, knowledge, um, with you guys. So basically this video is also a call out to you guys to please leave some input for me in the comments below on how to go about this. How do you want to see the information presented? And for me, um, I love to take time for it. Uh, but I don't have the time to, for every 10 minute video, spend five hours of editing. So it, it has to be a way that enables me to make these videos pretty fast, um, but still in a way that provides you with the best information. Um, uh, so I'll be asking some questions about that. Now, the last couple of weeks, um, I have gotten some questions. So what is coming up in the coming period will be, um, uh, from a question of Chris Edwards, a video about stall flying, short takeoff and landing flying. Um, then um, Aussie Digger sent me a question about he's having some difficulty entering a spin. So we'll be doing one on spins uh, entry for upright and inverted spins. And I think, although he didn't ask, it would be maybe interesting to um, to some of you to also include some tips on how to flatten out the spin to really get that flat spin instead of like half corkscrew. Um, so that, and then I got a really challenging question from Sven Bardos because, you know, whenever someone sends you a link to a video of Chase Ducia and asks, how does this guy do that? How can I do that? You know, you're up for a challenge. So he's asking about um, how to create sequences of different spins. So how to make transitions from upright to inverted spins from um, upright or inverted spin into knife edge spins from knife edge spins into flat spins from knife edge spins into weeble wobbles. So uh, I've been thinking a lot about this and this is where I maybe need your help because what do you guys like and how do you guys think information comes across best? Because I'm really doubting right now whether I should do that as a flight video with like onboard footage where you can, um, from a, a cam on the wing where you can see the inputs uh, of my rudder and my elevator, especially. Ailerons aren't very visible on those videos, but you know, make do with what you have. Uh, maybe combined with, you know, the shots from the ground. Um, but I also think that maybe this guy can help and that uh, for an episode like that, maybe you don't even need flight video, but maybe you can, I can even just, you know, film an explanation and with the aid of this little stick plane, uh, explain the different transitions. So I'd love to have your input on that and your views on that. What do you think would work best for you? Um, you know, we'll have to figure this out, uh, you know, together. It's, it's new to me, it's new to you guys. So, and I think with your input that, that probably somewhere in the future, maybe like in 10 or 20 videos, we'll have like format that works really well. Um, so that is a very important question. So please, you know, if you have any input, any thoughts on this, put it in the comments below. Be really grateful for it. All right, so those three videos are coming up. Now something um, that I have just done actually is, um, I think it would be good to have a Facebook page to make it a little bit easier to communicate because communicating through those comments I've already seen. Normally I get email notifications and sometimes I don't. And then later when I look back into the comments, I see a comment that I actually missed completely without any kind of notification. So that's why I just set up a Facebook page. Um, look it up. It's the RC coach, the space RC space coach. Um, so if you want and you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, do subscribe to that um, or do like that Facebook page. 
Um, and uh, if you do that, also click somewhere on top, you have this follow button and click that because with these Facebook algorithms, you know, if you want to avoid seeing all the stuff that Facebook wants to show you and especially the adverts they want to show you, you know, if you click follow on a page, then you'll at least get all notifications when that page does something and that's the way to keep up to date with that. So uh, it would be really cool to see you guys there as well. And, you know, do invite your friends, you know, to uh, come there. I did actually also invite um, quite a bit of people that I know and of whom I know that they are actually um, better to a lot better pilots than I am. So I already invited also a lot of people, you know, that can actually chip in in discussions we'll have there and that can maybe help out giving you even better information. So it would be really cool to see what comes of that. And then um, a last thing that I have a question about, and this is actually something really cool has happened. Um, so a couple of guys at my club saw the first video where I offered my services as a, your RC coach. And then we, we got talking, you know, about that gap that there is in training. So you do have training for, uh, let's say, competition pilots, because competition pilots, they help each other out. They train together. They help each other get stronger. Uh, and beginner pilots, they often get a lot of help from instructors or just other pilots who teach them how to fly. But that's basically up to a certain level or up to, <clears throat> um, uh, let's say, uh, 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 their license in, in a lot of countries. But in between those two, there's like a huge gap, you know. So how do you progress? So we were talking about that and mainly talking about how do you progress in aerobatics. And the idea came up to do a workshop on aerodynamics and, uh, or sorry, on aerobatics. And um, it is focused on explaining a lot of maneuvers, but... Um, when I was planning that, I actually tried to plan it in a way that we have people on different levels. There's more than 20 people coming. We have people on different levels participating. So what I actually tried to do is um, like try to describe a progression from license to the point where you really don't want my help, but you want a competition pilot's help to further improve, you know? So, um, and by doing that, I think that uh, people that are in that workshop, they can judge on their own where they are in that progression and uh, basically just, you know, pick it up from there and pick up the next maneuvers to train from there. Um, so, and while I was planning that, um, we are going to do it next week, which is really cool because we get to use the classroom of the local fire department in Rosenberg. Um, which is cool because we host their drone team. They have these drones with heat sensors, you know, they use to, to go after fires and everything to be better able to find the heat source in a fire, etc. cetera. Um, so they use our field to uh, train and those guys are really cool. So when they heard this and then they heard that I was looking for a good space, they said, hey, listen, you know, we have a classroom, come sit there. So that's really cool. But I was thinking, okay, but if we've done this and I've done this planning for, you know, that story about that progression, I thought, how do I get that to the online world? I'll be doing that workshop in Dutch, so that'll be useless to a lot of you guys. So we'll have to do something about that. And now the question to you guys is, do you think it's going to be a long story? You know, it's going to be like, um, if it's only me talking about this, maybe mixing some footage in between, it's going to be like an hour, an hour and a half, I think, to give a good explanation. So now my question is, I see two options. Which one would you prefer? A, just make it a really long video, one and a half hours, and then in the uh, description below, maybe um, divide it into chapters and, and tell you, like, this chapter starts at 5 minutes 30 and the next chapter starts at 7 minutes, etc., do it that way, or um, basically cut it up in a lot of different smaller videos. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear about it. So that's where we are right now. I hope to come out with a couple of videos for Chris and Sven and Aussie Digger 
um, uh, very shortly. Um, do check out the Facebook page. It would be really cool if we get some interaction going in this thing. So, um, hey, I'm having fun. I'm having fun with this. So, um, as far as that's concerned, you know, this for me is a success already. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. This time, I'm going to empty my cup of coffee and get to work. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.